Hey there, this is Jacob with Survival Geek. Today we're going to be demoing the CRKT Micro Tool and Keychain Sharpener designed by Tom Stokes. Tom Stokes is a knife designer, works with CRKT, has over 20 years of aerospace engineering experience, seems to design some of their um, tools that they have out. I'm going to do an unpackaging here. Got a little plastic flap here in the back that pops up. This is going to be nice to me. Okay. Nope, try to leave it in there. I'm trying to make sure the reflective part goes away. Try to get it closer here. So CRKT micro tool and keychain sharpener designed by Tom Stokes. It's a knife sharpener, a seat belt and strap cutter, a flathead screwdriver, and a bottle opener. At the bottom it says multi-tool, lifetime warranty. I'm sure lifetime reads a fine print, more than likely. Um, get it closer, you guys can read that. CRKT micro tool and keychain sharpener. Confidence in hand. And then what one, two, three, and four are. Specifications. Get the light just right there. Tungsten carbide, multi-tool, handles, glass fill, nylon, weight is 0.6 ounces at 17 grams, length is 3.375 inches at 86 or 86 millimeters. Okay, so let's look more at the unit itself. <clears throat> this is interesting, I would say, but it does have some flaws to it. CRKT Columbia River Knife and Tool. So it's one blade of steel, obviously, in the center here. Um, as far as dimensions go, we saw length on here. On here in uh, North Georgia, so I'm not using the metric system. Width. Let me get it closer here. Length, width, we're coming in right there at um, not not yet half an inch, maybe three, maybe a quarter of an inch, somewhere in there. So what this does is it's got a seatbelt cutter on the end here. On the very on the very tip, it's a flathead screwdriver. Um, get closer here. Flathead screwdriver. It's got a blade here in the center. This part goes in your keychain. Behind it, on the back side here, is a bottle opener. Not too crazy about that because it looks like it's just one piece of metal with some star head screws that are put in here. Um, then there is a knife sharpener on the inside here. Now this is where it gets a little weird. And I'm going to see if I can get some light here to show you what I'm talking about weird. Okay. Notice the channel here. Get the focus just right. Notice the channel. There it is. Notice how this piece of metal, watch this piece of metal go backwards inside. That piece of metal, come on, focus. There it is. Notice right here at the very bottom, there's that shiny piece of metal. That's part of the blank here. And when you drag a knife through it, unless the knife is very slender, thin, low profile, like that of a Swiss Army knife or a Leatherman or a, or a 
some of the other knives that are out there, real thin type knives. It'll hit there and sharpen, but uh, you run the risk of, uh, once that carbide starts wearing out on the inside there, of actually hitting the metal blank itself right below the carbide. Now, what's interesting about this particular type is the back side here. The back side, you see uh, two triangles side by side. Now, carbide's obviously very, very hard, and um, these are preset to a particular type of angle. I believe it's around 20 to 25 degrees. <clears throat> As you're pulling it through, it, it, it uh, shapes the blade, which I'll show here in a second. But <clears throat> these triangle pieces, if you take these out with a star bit, you can flip them around. Uh, so you get three different sides, but since they're cut at a uh, 90 degree angle, um, yeah, 90 degree angle, since they're cut at a 90 degree, um, you're actually getting one, two, three, four, five, six, you're getting six actual sides. So you can flip them over, uh, turn them around, turn them around again. So here's what I'm trying to say. This is the same with the Smiths and the Lansky knife sharpeners. So these pieces here, once once they start wearing out, you take out the star bit and you rotate the, the triangle piece. You turn it on the inside, and it gives you a brand new uh, new end on the inside to to keep sharpening your knife with. And as that wears down, you turn it again. Once that wears out then you take them out completely and you flip them over all the way so the right goes to the left side the left goes to the right side now you're using the opposite edges to do it all over again so it actually gives you it should last a long time overall for what it works so <clears throat> this is a glass filled nylon um, plastic so obviously when they cut into this piece they weakened it so they bridged over this with a uh, glass filled nylon, so in case it broke or something like that, uh, to keep it from breaking. You got a small bit of a handle here. I have real small fingers, so um, small hands, small fingers. Um, most people I come across with bigger hands, whatnot. So, with me, uh, small, smaller fingers, it's about right size. And so, right here, uh, I have this is a Kershaw Speed Safe uh, 1986 uh, Whiskey Mike uh, 1986 WM. So if I want to sharpen this particular blade, and you can notice how this is a thin blade, and if I want to sharpen this particular one, I would grab here and then put my blade against it, and I would pull backwards like so. I would apply a little bit of pressure keeping the blade level and following through to the end of the blade. And as long as it's a thin blade it'll work just fine. Now what you're doing is you're pulling uh, between five and ten passes typically or if you're just doing a touch up it could be two to three passes. But if it's a blade you've never touched before so we'll go from there, and as you can see, um, what it does is it, it, it begins cutting Johnny, you still get to focus. There are metal bits on the inside here, and it actually cuts off the metal, off the blade. A lot of people don't like carbide cutters here because they tend to wear down the blade pretty quickly when you can use something like a, um, a ceramic stone or something along those lines that aren't going to wear it down as quickly or even stropping on leather um, but in this case so we can try some feathering now look at just a piece of paper here and uh, so it does work it is very small, very petite, very lightweight. The, the only danger here I really see overall, other than this, how, whether how long this will actually last, <clears throat> um, since it's just 
screwed in here. Um, this can actually probably break off with the glass filled nylon, possibly. Is this is a hook and this goes on your keychain. So if this hooks anything, like in your pocket or you sit on it or something along that line happens, it's not very sharp here on the corner. I don't know how well it would do on a, a box cutting through tape or whatnot. But uh, if it were me, I would probably sharpen down this very edge here. Just on the very tip of this edge, I would sharpen it, make it an angle going this direction at maybe 20 degrees, just slightly on the very tip here just so I would have this edge here as, as a box cutter to cut cut open tape on a box. You know, that, that, that'd that be the only modification I would do to it. Still, that would, it would still give you a flat head. Um, but it, this is supposed to be a seatbelt cutter. So I'm not gonna use seatbelt, I'm just use some orange paracord here, 550. And, oop, that's razor sharp. So yeah, that's right out of the box. I didn't have to pull on that one. I'd be scared about that. <laughs> oh. Okay. And here are my strands. I can pull them all out. Nope, still got some there. So, <clears throat> comes with a split ring on the inside. <clears throat> split ring just simply opens up. Or in case you already had one on your keychain, regardless, to carry it with you wherever you go. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So it's kind of a, kind of a, an emergency situation. I need to sharpen a knife, and I've got a knife sharpener. I put it on my keychains and carry it with me wherever I go. So that's that. Let's see here. The CRKT, it runs $9 on Amazon. Um, and that's that. I will catch you guys in the next video.